Good morning, folks. It is about eight o'clock in the morning. I have a little cough going on. That's why I have a hauls in my mouth. I'm about to go pick up my niece and nephew, and we're gonna head to Atlanta for a bad butt. It is about roughly an hour and 15 minute drive from their house, so we will see you then. Bad Blood was such a success, you guys. I had such a blast for this premium live event that was taking place in Atlanta, which is close to my hometown. So there was no way that I was going to miss out on this premium live event that was taking place close to my hometown. And I also got the on location champion package. So anything that you see in the Delta Sky Club later on is part of your premium priority pass. Uh, on location experience but anyways as you guys can see from this clip i had to record a couple of clips for you guys so in that way you can see what the bad blood store looked like and i was quite impressed because this is actually one of the biggest stores that i have seen so far that wwe had put out um now now, I will say this, this is still early on in the morning, this is close to 10 a.m. when I'm recording this, so there's not a whole lot of crowd that came in uh, into the store, so I wonder what it looked like after maybe your 1 or 2 o'clock, since a lot of people were coming in for this event. We just simply had to be there early on, so in that way we can take our picture with Liv Morgan since we had photo ops with Fanatics that we signed up online but wait something happens and this is something that you guys need to be aware of because anything can change at any given time so if you're ever trying to shop for a WWE merch at a store it's best to arrive there early on so in that way you can shop for the right size since most of the sizes are gone by the end of the day and as you guys know WWE does a fantastic job creating hometown t-shirts so if you see a shirt like this that specializes in your hometown superstar then you better grab it because you'll never see that shirt again all right, say, buddy. Yeah. Hopefully, we get some more coaster thingies. Oh, you will. Oh, yeah. like fly at home. Oh, yeah. All right, Sammy. Show me what you got. What What did you pick out? The I was there, Bad Blood shirt, the OTC. All right. What did you pick? I got this cool little Bad Blood shirt. Right? That's cool. I like that. And I got OTC. The OTC. Okay. I already have the OTC shirt, so I picked out a Hell in a Cell Bad Blood shirt. Um, Here. Can you hold it so I can show the back? You got too much stuff in your hands. Oh, that's cool. I like the uh, the tail of the tape on back of the shirt, and then the you got yeet. the golden yeet shirt. Yep. Yeah. Can't made him in Jey Uso. Made him in Jey Uso. Yep. Yeah. We're fixing to go check out and go see uh, Liv Morgan. Yeah. And she's super excited about that because it's, it's her birthday. She need to get signed on her forehead or something. <laughs> you think she can sign my shirt? Hey, I brought I brought a golden you think she Oh yeah, she might. Bro, yeah. I've never watched this show. He's signing. No, I didn't get up for the rest yeah, of your life. Yes, yep. All right, well, let's go check out. <laughs> what are we doing now? All right, guys. Where are we headed now? Tell them. Live Morgan. Oh. Bailey. The time is now 11 o'clock, not 12 o'clock. I know yesterday it said 12. We moved that time up. So be ready at 10:30 at the earliest 10:45. Be in this area. Yes, sir. Appreciate okay. that. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here for Liv Morgan's yeah. um, meet and greet, or should I say photo ops? We'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a review. She's nervous because that's just how she is. And we got a little crowd gathering here for Bad Blood. And right beside it, there's a WWE store. We were here for Liv Morgan's photo op and she canceled. And I think the reason is because she had a dark match in Nashville. And that is such a drive to Atlanta. So we missed out on that. But we switched our photo ops to Bailey's. So we get to see her here shortly. But um, she's bummed out right now that she don't get to see Liv Morgan. Because she really wanted to see her. And she's even wearing a Liv Morgan shirt. Disappointment, man. It's okay. It's okay. Stuff happens. Morgan, it's just. She's a working hard woman. It'll be all right. We'll see how Bailey's photo ops go. See you shortly. 
So the crowd that you guys see in the picture is not for Bailey. It's actually gathered for Rhea and Damien Priest. They were sitting there and doing the live auction that they usually do. Uh, they'll sign merch and put it up for auction. Our line, the cube, we were part of group four uh, for the Fanatics uh, photo op. And honestly, didn't feel like we were separated in different groups because the line was moving so quick. We were in and out within like minutes, within like maybe seven minutes or so uh bailey was such a sweet person uh I, that's the first time i ever met her and she was super nice to my niece since it was her birthday she talked to her for like briefly maybe 30 seconds or so which is like more than anything else that you can ask for uh so thank you bailey for doing that i really appreciate it and as you guys can see this is where the big crowd gathered to see Rhea and Damien Priest sign away a lot of merch but this was all for WWEshop.com I believe because I was thinking that hey maybe I can get some of my merch signed but that's not how that works all right guys so we just pulled up at the diamond deck which is closest um, uh, parking deck to the uh, closest and easiest to get out out of State Farm Arena um, and it's about 1.12. We're about to walk out of here and get in the queue for our priority pass check-in, which starts at 1.30, so we're trying to avoid some of the heat uh, because the sun is just hammering down today. Um, Yo. <clears throat> so, so far, we really didn't get to do much. All we did was um, go around the store and we bought some merch. We took a picture with Bailey and we ate. I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's Rhea and Damien Priest, Biggie and Tyler Breeze. They were sitting at the panel. They were, uh, I think they were doing the auctions like they usually do on their um, webpage or YouTube. They auction off some of this stuff. Um, kind of like a podcast auction style type of deal. But uh, yeah, th there's not much so far, but uh, all the excitement starts here in just about maybe 30 minutes or maybe up to an hour when we get to see Jade Cargill and uh, Bianca Belair and maybe even some other surprises. We don't know what we're gonna get into. Say hi, Sammy. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Yo. But uh, yeah, oh, what do you think so far? I think so. It's been pretty fun, you know. Like, just... like I said, same thing. Yeah, I'm like, gonna... yeah pretty chill so far yeah. you know SummerSlam we were just walking around everywhere we were busy consistently yeah. so here it's just a little calm down and we're not far from home SummerSlam also had like 50 something thousand yeah, people, people and uh, people are just now about to roll in into town because we we've been here since what since 945. 9 9 45 and there weren't a whole lot of people but just enough to draw a uh, like a half decent crowd but uh, now people are gonna start rolling in and it's gonna look like it's gonna be a big crowd here shortly. Yeah. yeah, I will post an update soon. So this was a queue for the Priority Pass check-in line and honestly, this was one of the shorter queues that I've ever seen compared to the stadium events. Now, this is an arena event that we're talking about, so honestly, I didn't expect a longer line anyways. Uh, but what surprised me was this they actually opened up the door right on time in the past I've had experience where they open up the door uh, minutes later, maybe 20 minutes uh, after Whatever the check-in time that they mention on the itinerary But that responsibility falls on WWE for opening up the doors not on location So upon entering the Delta Sky Club where our priority pass uh, experience began they gave us our collectors pin but they didn't give us our lanyard because they didn't have it in possession. So what they did was they mailed it out. And what's funny is that at the time of recording this video, on the 14th of October, I just received my package where all of our lanyards were in it. And they look pretty cool. So after eating some lunch, I saw a line that was being formed right around the corner. And I was like, let me check it out, see what's going on. And my niece and nephew, they were like, looks like there's Carlito and JD McDonough over there taking pictures with the fans. So I had to get in queue to get a picture with them. And they were nice as always. All right, love, tell me what your uh, experience has been like so far. Um, it's pretty good, food is good. Food is great. The hospitality, it's all right. Well, we haven't met uh, Jade Cargill and Bianca, and it's already 3:11. Uh, yeah. The hospitality ends at four. Uh, we met Carlito and JD, which was pretty cool, yeah, and that's pretty much it. But they the, say happy birthday to me. Yeah, they, 
So they were nice? Yeah. Okay. It's a new W. But as you can tell, the Delta Skies Club is pretty neat from what it looks like. We'll see how the rest of it goes, right? Yeah. You got anything to add? Um, I'm really ready for the main event. He's skipping it to the main event. We got a whole show. Point. We got a whole show to get through. He's like, I'm ready for the main event. Well, I'm ready for uh, Drew, CM Punk. Okay. Front row seat, almost. Second row. We'll see how it goes. We just got an autograph uh, from Bianca Baylor and Jade Cargill, but as you guys can see, I messed that up because I was so excited. I held it like this, and I even got some permanent marker right there, but it's okay. It's the memory, right? Yeah. We'll show you guys. Post, we'll post a picture on the screen right now. Oh, yeah. That's badass. That's cool. That's awesome. I know. She was the best. This was probably the longest interaction that I've ever had with any of the WWE superstars. Not to mention, you know, when we walked up, uh, I mentioned that it's Sammy's birthday and they complimented her. They talked to her for maybe a minute or so before we actually got situated to take a picture. They took their sweet time communicating with her and that meant so much to me. Alright guys, so we are about to head down to the, uh, to the ring. They're, they're about to call us. They're about to call all the champion um, priority pass folks. So in that way we can have our ringside photo op picture. And uh, see, this is the cue for it. Not a whole lot of people compared to, you know, your big scale events, kind of like your summer slams and the stadium events, so to speak. But uh, I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to show you guys clip when I get down there. Man, I so wish I would have recorded my niece's reaction when she looked up at the ceiling and then she saw this beautiful hail in a cell with all the lights coming out of the smoke. And then the cell started slowly coming down. It was just wonderful, like chef's kiss. Not to mention this is her birthday, so everything fell in the right place at the right time. This was just amazing. I get this question asked a lot, hey PJ, how much did you end up spending? So I did a video a while back explaining you guys how much did I end up spending for the Bad Blood Champion package? I spent $27.50, but if you want to check out the whole video, the link is in the description box. Yeah, it does. No, this is padded. That's not padded right there. Yeah. He's saying that this area is padded, which it is. This is padded, but that area is not padded down there. I'm about to take a picture of the fan thing. Guys, we're about to take a picture by the cell. Super excited. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, sorry. Right here by the cell, guys. Right here by the cell. Wow. This is cool. Just walking right by the cell. Such a cool experience. All right, give, give them your phone. So this right here was totally new to me, guys. I never, ever had a chance to take a ringside photo op up until this moment. At Bad Blood, I got the champion package, as you guys know, which allows you to take ringside photo op. So this right here was the first time for me. This experience was just wholesome. I was like a kid in a candy store. This was well worth the money. 
spent. I highly recommend at least doing this once in your lifetime. Yes, you guys, it's here. Today we're at Bad Blood. We're finally situated in our seats. Second row. Second row from the hard cam. Oh my gosh, what a view we have here. I can't wait for this show. We got to touch Hell in a Cell. We got to touch Hell in a Cell. We got to take a picture closer to the ramp. It was it was amazing. Any words? I'm excited. It's our first show, so I don't know. Pyro is gonna blow her ears. Yeah, when she hears Pyro for the first time, she's just gonna absolutely get shot. Yeah, they they do fireworks, fire techniques. But uh, yeah, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. I'm really excited for Roman and Cody, and I'm also excited for this Helen Cell match. These are two matches I'm looking forward to. You're looking for Rhea Ireland? Well, we're in for a ride. That's for sure. And look at our chairs. I need to. I need to get up and show our viewers the chair. The fans are going crazy, as you can hear. The cell is rising.
guys, this was the most bloodiest, the most brutal match that I have ever witnessed in my entire life. Not to mention, I was in the second row for this, so I got to see a lot of action uh, right in front of my eyes. And every time they would do a maneuver where if they would take a wrench, try to push it into somebody's skull, I would literally clinch to my heart because I was like, man, oh man, I mean, that's got to hurt. Not to mention, Drew McIntyre had received 16 staples, if I'm not mistaken, after this match. His head was busted wide open. So much respect for these guys. Especially Drew McIntyre, who's one of the most hardest working individuals um, in this industry. Much, much respect to both of these guys. No way Drew's about to open up thumbtacks. Or Legos.
I didn't get a chance to record any of the footage during Finn Balor and Damien Priest's matchup simply because I was trying to save my battery for the rest of the event, not to mention I was really excited to capture main event entrances, but Triple H came out after this, so you know I had to capture his entrance. Guys, this is so cool. So I brought a sign to the show that says ATL needs WrestleMania and I am dying to get Triple H's attention. So we are screaming on top of our lungs like Triple H, Triple H, hoping that he will turn around and take a look at this. So watch what happens. He turns around and then he's like, wait a second, let me look at that sign. So I thought that was pretty badass once he recognized that that sign is right there. He finally read my sign.
This was the only match that I thought that we didn't get a satisfying ending, but then again, you know, Raquel shows up. We were waiting for her return forever, not to mention, looks like she's a heel now. So, for a change, something good. And now it's time for the main event. And this was such a cool moment folks, as Cody Rhodes came out, the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluffs decided to perform Kingdom theme song. Now let me give you a little history. So University of Arkansas at Pine Bluffs, that is a mouthful by the way, uh, they were playing Kingdom theme song, they were performing it uh, at their football games and the videos were going viral. So WWE got their attention, uh, they invited them. To perform Cody's theme song which is Kingdom um, at Bad Blood so here we are it comes full circle and there's actually one of the kids in the band who is a huge WWE fan I'm gonna go ahead and post a link of the video that I watched on one of the news media outlets so in that way you guys can go ahead and watch that story I think it's pretty cool that if you guys check that out so in that way you know how this actually came about guys and i know what you guys are thinking saying that hey but cody's entrance was not in sync it seems like the music was not in sync and i totally agree i said the same thing i was like man i really wish that they would have practiced all this stuff out ahead of time i honestly think that the band knew what they were doing it's just that if you go back and watch what wwe did they actually replayed his theme song they hit the <clears throat> wrestling has only one royal family so that happened twice and i'm like oh man did they really just mess that all up but then again it was a cool moment it all went away when the tribal chief showed up you know what i'm saying <laughs>
Nani?
and then the event ended with the rock returning at bad blood that was like cherry on top i knew the rumors had broke out earlier during the day or two uh stating that the rock was in atlanta doing something and then he shows up so that just made it even 10 times better uh simply because you know that adds so much depth to the storyline and now we kind of know that the rock has some partake with Sola Sokoa becoming the tribal chief and the second row experience from on location was totally fantastic I'm gonna try to do this again maybe sometime next year uh, try to get up close with a premium live event if the money is right if the timing falls in right place uh, we'll see what happens and at this point Cody's about to give a speech so we are trying to get our signs up my niece has a sign that says hey Cody it's my birthday so the whole point for us to take that sign is to get his attention maybe he can come to us uh, maybe snap a picture or even sign the sign um, I think that would be pretty cool but that didn't happen so here's that clip I think you know what I'm going to ask you. Did you guys have a good time? Cody! 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 And then I did you have a good time now? I'm half concerned that if I walk to the back, I might get beat up. So uh, I'm just gonna hang out with you guys for a second, okay? Come here! Cody! 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 You heard the statistics about how many people. You heard that we set an arena record, a business record for WWE. We did that here, we did that in Atlanta. Yeah. I don't know anything. I'm not in management or anything like that, but I would wager that after a night like tonight, perhaps, somehow, something even bigger than Mad Blood comes to Atlanta. And since Cody brought that up, I was trying to get my sign ready that says ATL needs WrestleMania because that was a perfect timing. And I would make this as simple as possible. I appreciate you all so much. I love you so much. Take care of one another. God bless you guys. Atlanta, my home. Have a great night. Thank you very much. Guys, we just finished Bad Blood. It was pretty chaotic. I've lost my voice. My throat is hurting. My head is hurting from screaming so much. Uh, what a chaotic night, especially when The Rock returned towards the end. Forget The Rock. When Jimmy returned, the crowd went totally nuts. What are your thoughts? I was ridiculous. He was like, oh, Rock's not coming. I was like, watch this. And he did. When you least expected it. I didn't, I didn't think he was coming after Jimmy returned. But. Yeah, when you have one person returning, you don't think like there will be another return, right. you know? What do you think about this? Was this was fun. your first WWE yeah. event. Yeah. I'm sorry we tried getting Cody to sign yeah, your sign. He was yeah. right next to us, basically. Oh, uh, no. He jumped up here and we couldn't get him to sign our poster. There's a lot of people, too, so he probably... Yeah, it was, it was chaotic. Plus, he wrestled a big match, and he's probably getting ready to go back there, yeah. Uh, what a thing. What a thing. Time to go home. Time to get these chairs home. See you guys later.